Don't test me in my mouth. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Requiem for a Tuesday, everybody, where these streets will make you feel brand new. How's it going? I'm here with Justice. Hey, everybody. Great. That was a good opening question. <laughs> That's your best opening question yet. It wasn't a question. Oh, or a statement. He was asking you anything. <laughs> and Ricky as well. Uh, What's going on? This is the Not So New York episode. We didn't do it. Post uh, York. Previously mentioned, we couldn't get the TV to work. <laughs> <laughs> so It's true. We're doing it at home much later on time. So that's what happens when you're part of the 13 colonies. You know what so, I'm <laughs> so much for the 100th episode special. This might not even be episode 100. Yeah, what do you add? I don't even know. Uh, what, this week is 99. So I oh, might, my God. So I might just drop it. <laughs> that's, that's ridiculous. No, difference? you should wait a week and make it honored. Eh. Come on. It's worth it. What's the difference? There ain't no difference, but it'd be funnier. If, I, I don't know. Yeah. Mind your own business. <laughs> <laughs> not my show, not my problem. Yeah. All right, so we are going to discuss little little destination vacation that we had. Uh, separate journeys. Justice rolled in the night before. This is going to go great. From the sky and had a nightmarish hellhole of a night, which is going to be great. We'll talk about all that. Me and Ricky took the train. It took a long time. Safer we, by land. A lot of yeah, exactly. It was yeah, and you know. uh, yeah, that that was also its own separate, very long trek. Yeah, um, do you think that I should it, uh, just start since I got there first? That makes sense, right? Yeah, take take it away. Start with Thursday night. You're fully packed. You're leaving your house. Holy shit. Paint us a picture. It really oh. happened. Yeah. <clears throat> it really did happen. It worked so well. But Well, so just for clarification, to save a hundred bucks, Justice flew in a night early at like two AM and booked a gross hostel. <laughs> but then this is how I it unfolded. Now this is how it unfolded. I booked a hostel at the West Central Park Hostel. Let me confirm that name, but it was just west of Central Park. Go figure. And I had no idea how to get there. <laughs> the chances that I could have gotten there successfully were very slim. That's what I was telling you, especially given when you landed. And wasn't your flight I delayed? landed in LaGuardia at 2.30 a.m. <laughs> 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 I followed signs the entire way. I had no weed, I had no beer, I had nothing to do but a lot of time and a lot of luggage. I had all the sound equipment. So I was much carrying equipment. like a se- what felt like 70 pounds. Well, after. he brought his mic stand with like yeah. a weighted ass bass. Just they to- stopped me at customs like, what the fuck is this? I was like, it wasn't Yo. customs. Or sorry, it was security. <laughs> Not even <laughs> customs. Big difference. But you, Oh, dude, you'd get tossed around at customs. You're, you're too fragile. They stopped me, not customs again, but when I checked in for the European trip, when I went to Greece, they stopped me because I had a harmonica. They were yeah, like, they're like, they ain't like, no what pussies the on fuck this flight. Is this? <laughs> ain't no pussy boys allowed. It was like tucked at the very bottom of my backpack, and they're like, this looks really weird on camera. So I, I would assume that a big giant weight with like an arm also looks weird through that. Um,. Yeah, so anyway, I got into LaGuardia at 2.30 a.m., um, followed signs, tried to take the bus, and I... It's a shame that they have no train out of either airport. It's really just foolish. I had to... I mean, it, there technically is a train. It it doesn't... Whatever I took, just... I waited, and we ended up going about mm, two, three miles, and the lady's like, this is the last stop, and I was like, oh... Well, I have to go to West Central Park. <laughs> and she's like, Too bad, you got to walk. And I was like, okay. Wait, she, she kicked you off the train? Uh, Yes. Yeah. And then she, she closed the doors after I took my luggage off and she turned the lights off and turned the bus off and just sat there. She just sat there for like 20 minutes. Well, what did you think? She was just going to give you a ride in the bus? Like all the way there, like I, it was an well, Uber. She said, "Get just, the fuck off. Just because you out. needed a ride? Like she didn't give a fuck. I also, I mean, I thought that 
maybe she went back around to like a terminal or something. So I sat there for a second. She's like, she's like, you got to get off. And I was like, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> so I got off. It was pouring. Great. It was absolutely pouring. I love to, rain. I love to hear that. Uh, yeah. Good thing you had your rain boots. And so I just walked with because the bag is also From waterproof. From what Queens? I think it was in Queens or something. Yeah. You walked all the way to West Central Park. Um, no, no. I walked until I found a train station. Okay. I don't recall the name of the train station. Um, I found something to eat and... What'd you... Well, where? What was it? Uh, pizza. Dollar pizza, yeah. Yeah, pizza. And then... Um, How was it compared to, like, the place that we went to afterwards? John's on Bleecker? Yeah. Oh, dude. John's is way better. <laughs> that shit was ass. <laughs> what, what toppings were on the one you got? I just got cheese. I couldn't even think that's straight, valid. dude. That's fair. That's fair. I was like, I have no idea where I am. It was fun, though. I, I can't really complain because I just kind of walked around. That was plastic. That wasn't cheese. Yeah, it wasn't good, but it was <laughs> it inspired was fine by cheese. S- yeah. I needed to sit down for a minute, and I was like, I'm not about to go to a bar. I was, there was a few bars open, and I was like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that with all this shit. I'm going to look insane. You know? Yeah, you're going to look like a murderer. Oh, you look like a homeless person most of the time, yeah. <laughs> So walking around with 50 pounds of baggage or however much. So I catch a train. God damn it. Why don't I? Oh, I went towards Jamaica. I don't know. That's deeper into Queens. So I was I got on the train to go towards Jamaica. And Incorrect, I thought yeah. that that was poor right. Poor choice. It's not that hard to just follow a map. This is why we couldn't find them when we landed. Yeah. Or when we got there in the yeah. train. Yeah. Terrible. That was a whole like day late. No, that was like twelve hours later. <laughs> okay, so that and, how long? And do it you... was like that the whole day. Might have <laughs> had the whole day by myself. Just kind of walk around with shit, like not really knowing where how to go. How long do you go? Queens. How long do you go the wrong way before you figure out that it's wrong? I t- well, as soon as I saw a guy, I handed him my metro card, and he's like, "What are you doing?" And he was like, "I was like, so you don't know how to go on a train." Well, it's no, crazy that I we live in <laughs> Chicago and you roll up there like you're from fucking Wichita, Kansas. <laughs> you have no idea how anything functions. It's like we're from. I was like, a I gotta go thing. towards. I think I was saying Times Square by then or something. You like change your whole yeah. close enough. <laughs> I mean, at that point, yeah. I know that that was the direction that I needed to head, and um, I had Google Maps the entire time. Might I add? It doesn't sound. Yeah, like everybody, it. <laughs> everybody does, man. It's really not hard. Yeah. Um. So I got off at the next thing, like the next stop. I and I waited for another train. And it was this huge station. It was really pretty. Um, it t- you know it gave me a second to appreciate the area. You know, getting lost for like three hours. So. Fast forward, okay. <laughs> that happened a lot. That pr- happened like twice. Okay, so the next train still wasn't the right train. No, the next train was the right train, but then transferring to the two and the three or something. like. Then you went the wrong direction again. Yes, that, that transfer I fucked up and went the opposite direction. And then I ended up t- walking and taking another, I think that was it. Then I started walking. You just gave up. Yes, I just gave up. Well, it was so this. late. It was three in the morning, and there were no buses. I was also trying to take a bus, like north, kind of. Nah. Um, it didn't work. Yeah. So Foolish. I walked from. Um, Not a bus city. All the way. What is that called? That west side called. The upper west side. Yeah, I walked yeah. basically like three or four blocks, on the upper west side, and then found my hostel, and. I tried to buy weed off this dude, and he was like, yo, dude. He was like, you're a fucking narc, bro. Yeah. (laughs) No, he was like, I don't have any. Well, he was smoking a joint. It was the very, very end of it as I walked past him. I was like, can I hit that? (laughs) That's fucked up, bro. You're fucking weird. It worked. That's not cool. I mean, it didn't work, but he was like, no, dude, but, you know. You had to go to a more high. Well, it it, w- it was like three a.m. Right? You said I was gonna say yeah, you should have gone to a more high traffic area. No, no, no. Yeah, you can't oh, there were people so people. But everywhere, I ended yeah. up seeing Times Square for a little bit. It was really busy, and there was which was cool, and just like the outside of the station. And then I walked right back down. And I was like, because I was like, we're going down here later or the next day or whatever. So I was like, I'm not gonna go and walk around. Um, shout out to the kebab guy. In Times Square, that shit was crazy. I, I didn't. Times Square. Did I get a kebab? No, no, I didn't think so. You mooched like always. Did I mooch? Yeah. Was it good? Yeah. All right. I don't even remember. Anyway, so what? You finally, you finally made your way there. Fire though. After walking, 
the convenience store. The you dude, walked for the dude with the two hours. The joint, the roach. I was like, I'll swallow that. <laughs> I bet. I bet you did. <laughs> you, t- you, you told him that. Bet you, you, told him s- I bet you swallowed a few things. Yeah, bugs. That's what I swallowed yeah. in the hostel because I pulled up, <laughs> and this dude, um, just like headband, full dreads, dude. He smelled like cigarettes, and he was like, "What's up?" He was up. He was cool. He checked. He was at in. work. Yeah, he better yeah. have been up. I was about to say. Yeah, he, <laughs> he was definitely up. Well, he, yeah. he he only had a pencil for me to sign the thing, and he couldn't find it for a few minutes, so he was also just kind of like chilling, you know. <laughs> he had a uh, pencil. <laughs> yes, a he had a single pencil, and in, just in his broke mouth. the tip <laughs> and couldn't sign, <laughs> so they kicked him out. All right, what happened? I was on like the fifth floor. Is that good? Um, How many floors were there? I think like six. Six or seven. Oh, look at you. Luxury. Dude. <laughs> High rise. The was window like is facing the another wall. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't remember what the curtains were. It was a bunk bed and there was a dude sleeping on the bottom when I walked in. At what time is this when you finally get in there? <sighs> Three something. <laughs> 345 or something like Awful. that. Awful. The birds were chirping. I Just mean, that is, that is pretty much as early as you want to get there yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i suppose he was kind of up after i stopped because i or i unlocked the door saw that the dude was sleeping and then put my stuff and he was like hey i'm just <laughs> <laughs> no what, i want to be put friends? my shit down and i take my jacket off and i walk back out because there's a bathroom i had to like change into you my other shoes really quick <laughs> in the shared bathroom no, i just had to see the bathroom i just wanted to know what i was working with yeah how there was that? <laughs> it was terrible. Yeah. Actually, I've waited. Did I show you the picture? I don't think so. I waited to show you the picture until that. This episode. is the most I've heard about the hostel. At this yeah, point. yeah. I feel like we finally had time to like. This was the fucking bathroom. Pass that shit around. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let me ex- <laughs> let me set this. I'll show Ricky and then set the scene. There's no fucking way. I didn't. I went pee and I walked back to the room. Is well, there like one per floor, or is that like the? Yeah, bathroom. how many people are sharing this bathroom? Do like t- nine or ten people. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> For that many people, it's not as gross as you would expect, but it's yes. basically a single family home's bathroom really spread out in like a padded cell. <laughs> it kind of looks like an asylum bathroom. It's disgusting. And there's curtains in it, which space. is weird. Just like, I don't know, put some wood in there, man. <laughs> like, why does it have to look like that? Oh, there's plenty of wood in there. Don't you worry. Dude, uh, I don't know, some paneling. Hostile Any paneling orgies. would be fine. Hostile bathroom orgies. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I would was there a people? glory hole oh, anywhere? No, no glory hole. That's oh, disappointing. Not to my knowledge. <laughs> I don't know. You no, there's no the stalls, hostile. you know. <laughs> it's it's weird. You would think that it would be like a dormitory bathroom with like multiple stalls and like a couple showers, like a pool. Nice, you know, nice I never thought bathroom. of the expectations like that for us, but I agree completely. Because that's it's still, like that's still spread gross. It out. Yeah, that's still gross. But like, I mean, come on, at least give an option. Yes, I agree completely. So uh, uh, anyway, I walked out of the bathroom after this was. 3.58 a.m. is when, when I took, took this photo. photo. It was the moment I walked in. I was like, oh, my God. You got to be <laughs> fucking kidding me. And he curled up and slept on the bathroom floor. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the other reason why it looks relatively okay is because every single per uh, the individuals clean that bathroom after they use it, like, hopefully thoroughly. So it kind of looks like, a, I don't know. I, a doubt, I doubt that a lot. <laughs> That's what I want to believe. Did you clean up your squirts in the morning? I didn't squirts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do you think, some Lysol? I should have done some Lysol. I don't know. So what, did you ever go to sleep? Um, or you just went to the bathroom and were shocked and you stood up? <laughs> um, No, I slept in there. <laughs> I definitely I had no choice. Did you make a bunch of noise climbing up in the bunk bed and wake yeah. up the other guy? <laughs> it was awful, dude. Every movement was <laughs> noise. Did you sleep with noise. all your stuff or did you leave it like right there unguarded? My bag and my boots were on I would have slept next to my bag. I would have like Sorry, it's a suitcase. The suitcase and my boots were on the floor and then my backpack and my jacket were up by me. He he makes himself comfortable in a room. He loves to unpack everything. 
I'm an unpacker. Just settle in. Yeah. He's like, how do I scatter as much shit across every surface? I didn't surface do that as whatsoever. That's shocking. That's how you know it was bad. It was bad <laughs> for sure. It wasn't safe. Um, it's it's not safe. I don't recommend it to anybody. And the next morning, I didn't. So what? Even, like an hour later? Eight a.m. Okay, four hours. As later. soon as um, Green Balmond or something. What what the, was the name of that place? The bagel shop, it was like across the street. It opens at 8 a.m. And I went like ex- as soon as it opened with all my shit. You were like, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. I had to put my boots do you back have on. To, do you have to oh, check out? You should have slept hospital? until checkout just to have the energy. Um, What? I was about to say, yeah. Like, did you check out of the hostel or do you, can you yeah, just, like, I, just walk the, out? Just there was ghosting. nobody there. So I wrote a note and wrapped <laughs> my see? key in it. <laughs> and then I That's threw it I on asked. the desk. That's why I asked. They yeah. only have people available from. 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> no, they leave it from like 8 to 9 or like from 7 to 9. There's oh, the nobody peak there. peak of the morning? Yes. <laughs> when everybody would be checking out? The the guy didn't get there till 10 a.m. And like <laughs> there was kids trying to check out and they had these huge, or they were trying to check in. They had huge luggage. Oh, you can't check somebody in let time. them in through, like somebody that already was staying at the hostel let them inside see that's but they just like were walking around on the bottom floor just like waiting to check in with all their shit literally giant bags dude i need secure hotels that don't allow people to just wander just, in and just out whenever pull they up. want and so i where saw, a guest won't just be like yeah i'll let you into some room i just because you say you're supposed to be here fucking crazy <laughs> you look you didn't get stabbed that shit was gnarly. A lot of people bleed there. The guy, that's awful. <laughs> the guy that I was, that I had the same room with um, was. Didn't he have a hernia or something? No, not at all. I, did, I didn't see the, well, how do you even call those? You're like roommate at a hostel? Is um, it a roommate? <clears throat> no. Bunky? Se- I think it's your bunkie. cellmate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's your bunkie. Hostels are prison <laughs> well we know how you did in jail <laughs> not, not didn't go great i had a bunk mate named bubba <laughs> <laughs> that's not a lie was he round <laughs> yes has to be i think that's like law that a guy named anybody named bubba has to be round uh, yeah you gotta be doughy word <laughs> he you was gotta have the, you gotta have the he oba. definitely was so then <laughs> 8 a.m. on, you just kind of oh. split. That yeah, was it. You I were just out of there. stayed at that bagel shop for like an hour and a half. Okay, we never cleared this up. You said at one point while we were on the train that you were in Long Island. <laughs> I was kidding about that, I think. I wasn't actually in Long I Island. Think. I think you thought you were in Long Island. That's what I assumed. I didn't believe you. Whether you <laughs> meant it or not. I I, th- I assumed if you meant it, you were wrong. I stayed at Barney Greengrass when it opened at 8 a.m. See, that's what that place is called. Great. It's like right by... How was, how was that place? Fire. They have oats on their everything bagels. Isn't that weird? I don't know. It's pretty good. It's got everything on it. I was going to say, I normally don't pay attention. The way yeah, that I, I just assume it's all... <laughs> the way that oats all. cook, I feel like it's like soft enough for it to be like nice. Like cereal? Not like cereal. Like an like another like I'm not a horse I don't know I don't need oats. seed or something. Are What's you that? a horse? Are you saying that horses eat oats? They do. Horse boy. Horses love oats. Yeah, I love. They oats. wear it in sacks around their necks. Dude, granola is my favorite. <laughs> God damn it, I'm a horse. You're, well, <laughs> that's, a, that's a crazy thing to say. You're more like a pony. That's cool. Yeah. Would you get a horse tattoo? No, I totally would. Horses are weird. They're pretty cool. They look crazy. Why bro. they got regular teeth? Dude, cows are sick too. They're like big puppies. <laughs> and no, I think those are called dogs. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, cows are sick. Sure, a lot of them. Yeah, with they're, the cancer. They're, they're decent. They're decent. Excessive breeding and damn, that's fucked. Chemicals, uh, <laughs> hormones. Barney Greengrass. So you that's ne- where we're at. You never went. That's it. You this stayed is, there the whole time. This is we didn't eight get to there nine thirty on yeah, Friday because we didn't get morning. there till nine a- p.m. Well, had, or whatever. So eight after I came back to the hostel, so you to still drop went my back. key. Like I said, I wrapped. Got it. I wrapped it up. It was night. That was like nine thirty a.m. Okay. Then I walked through Central Park, basically. just for a long time. 
not really just Central Park, actually. I actually walked more of, like, the Upper West Side again. So I walked south on whatever street that was for a while. Just kind of okay. walked around with my shit. Didn't really make any sense of it. Damn it. Um, and I wanted to find a place to sit down, and I had a class from 10.30 to 12.45. It's my computer applications class, and I have to be there. So I just did it inside of this. It was like an acai bowl place. I don't remember the name of it. Mm-hmm. Um, it was kind of cool. Though. At least you were able to find a spot where you can kind of post up for a little bit. Yeah, it was nice. And I, ooh, this is this is this is a fuck? separate place from um, the bagel shop you were at earlier. Uh, yeah. Okay. Stop fiddling. What were we okay, we're back. Justice was fiddling. Uh, <laughs> touching things, touching himself. So you just told a, a long, boring thing about you studying. What happened after that? Just nothing. I went to Serendipity. <clears throat> is that a strip club? Uh, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Serendipity Three. I think it's called. No, it's. I got like this dessert. I got the frozen hot chocolate. Is what it's called. Doesn't make sense. Still. Oh, yes. oh, yes. Frozen oh, yes. hot chocolate. I still oh, yes. don't understand what, do you what that is. What do you mean? Um, it was like a. You can't do that. <clears throat> it was like an ice cream sundae. So basically. it wasn't hot. Yeah, it was. It was like ice cream. It was not it's, hot at all. Was it hot and cold? It had like a smoke. Was it yes and flavor. no? Smoky uh, chocolate flavor. It was really good and it was really cool and the restaurant was really, really sick. I went there and then I went to um fuck. That was it really. I think I went down to like I took photos. I don't know where this area was at. That's it's the right Empire by, State Building. Yeah, it's the Empire <laughs> State Building. <laughs> <laughs> just like that downtown you area. Know, I would just buy this thing. Okay, so that was it, and then you just hung around. Yeah. And then you couldn't find us. Um, and then that's, that's where when we you were. Up. That's when we were transferring from Penn Station to the two, the one, the one. But that's yeah, yeah still in Penn Station. You guys didn't even. I didn't even. There. I yeah, feel like I like, walked out of the way. He said, "I'm on the platform." We got there, <laughs> and he was not there. Yeah. And we said, "Bye, bitch." Took twenty hours to get here. Um, I ain't waiting. I ain't waiting for no man. Yeah, so no, something that I did that was actually really goofy was that <laughs> yeah, a lot. I, I bet. I've left part of my luggage at the hotel that we were staying at because I was like, "Hey, well, I'm staying here later, but I'm not the person checking in." And, and he's like, "You want to check your bag?" And I was like, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't believe the, they let you do that. To be honest, I've never heard of that, but that's sick. It was really nice, but the before that, I got rid of my other piece of luggage at like a a locker, like a. Put your stuff away for the day locker that you pay for. Like Six Flags. How did you find it? <laughs> Internet. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> and he's just like, yeah. I just think I, of it. He's like, know? yeah, I just trust this guy. <laughs> really Google, like, a he place said $2. To put it was Seems a saxophone reasonable. shop. I left my backpack with a saxophone shop. Did you just like put it in a saxophone case and hope nobody <laughs> opened it? <laughs> it seemed like it. He's like, yeah, we'll just put it away right here. It's fine. I was like, okay. Yeah. So is there like a service? And he's that just like, offer? yes. He's just like, yeah. I'll just trust this. Um, and in between, I was just, I had my camera and I was just hanging out, walking around with my shit. And then eventually, I got rid of it, and it was just more efficient, you know, just to walk around without your luggage. You don't want to be a heavy boy. No, that's what happened the entire time that. I was by myself. I was just kind of waiting. I didn't want to spend too much money also. Yeah, that was the whole point of you going early right. to save money. So I didn't really stop anywhere. I was just like, let's just, you know, I'm going to keep my head down, you know, walk around. I'm going to just be the bum that I look like. <laughs> yeah, I am. it worked. <coughs> they have waterproof boots. <laughs> You're such a dope. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. All right. Well, that's where our stories collided. So let's backtrack. Interestingly enough, me and Ricky had to leave at the exact same time as you, pretty much. So, like, we left our apartment. <laughs> that was weird. Dude, to be honest, I was <laughs> cracking up constantly at the thought that you were going to be there the day before. It's kind of like, this is going to be crazy. Yeah, like, we knew that all of, the, like, a terrible thing, at least one <laughs> at least one thing would happen. So, the hostel being gross was kind of a given, but, you know, we were not wrong. Dude, so there was this bucket right outside <laughs> of the hostel, 
or of my bedroom of the house though you know me and my roomie there's just a bucket it's like boy raul i don't even know how big you would call it (laughs) it's like an eight quart bucket (laughs) okay uh stainless steel it's a big bucket and then kind of like right across the hall uh, maybe like five feet away, uh-huh. just one little hall that leads to a window, and the window was just open the entire time. Like when I pulled up, and as I was leaving, nobody closed it. Uh huh. Well, that includes you. You can't blame that on everybody. And it was the only nice thing about it was that window open. <laughs> okay. You well, know, there you, you go. You look out. It's like I'm. I'm actually free. It's just really, really. <laughs> oh real my God. In here. Jesus Christ! <laughs> he said I'm free. <laughs> the next morning. I have to remind myself. The next morning. There was just some dude throwing up at like six in the morning. It in was that, in that bucket. In that bucket, right outside the door. Well, now you know what the bucket was for. Yeah, man, that's what the bathroom's for too. It might be the backup toilet. Period. You know, oh if the bathroom's used, you gotta just piss or shit in the bucket. Do, it's a does the bathroom? Did the bathroom have like a lock, or was it? No. Okay, so that makes that layout a lot more interesting. That's terrible. Oh, wait, yes, yes. Uh, oh. You can close that door. I don't know if you can lock it. I'm assuming oh. you can lock it. Well, that's different. Just is like, I didn't <laughs> lock it. And I said, come on in, everybody. <laughs> it was just, it's it wasn't a, a deadbolt. It's a much bolt. more interesting layout. He it said, it wasn't a deadbolt or anything. Anyway. It was just a regular ass, like, turn. I don't know what you would well, call it. Well, a lock is a lock. I'm just yeah. saying, like. There was a lock. There was okay. a lock. On the bathroom door, for sure. I was going to gotcha. say, because if not, that's crazy. Yeah, that would be psychotic. <laughs> I would have left. <laughs> right? I probably would have had to. I would have slept at the park. <laughs> you said that wasn't a good idea, though. Uh, true. You get yeah. that's still true. You said it was Someone raining. Someone take your shoes, and it was raining. It was raining. You would have got your boots snatched up, no problem. No. Yeah, you can't sleep in the park with your shoes on. Everybody knows that. <laughs> People don't. steal your shoes. <laughs> that's terrible. How do they take them off? You're sleeping. No way. Yeah. When did you wake up? It'd be too late, though. They're already running, and you don't have any shoes on. Damn, bro. Yeah. That, those are hard to take off. And you'd be just, like, already, you'd be asleep. You'd be just waking up. You don't have no energy. You can't catch a man. I don't know about that. A professional? Yeah. Boat snatcher? A swiper? A, 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 a bucket shoe stealer? Could you keep up with a shoe stealer? Definitely not. They know how to party. Dude. <laughs> Sorry, I cut into what your the train. I uh, I've heard no. a lot about the train. Well, it was uh, a lot less interesting. I'll say that. You know, you kind of just a sit lot, there and a watch, of, a, watch a lot America of Amish pass people, by. A lot of Amish people. I think train. that they're Mennonites, technically. But yes, what does that mean? It's a similar thing, but they they allow more technology. I think. Like a train. This, this, that, that makes sense. Amish is pretty like harsh. Amish only leave for Rumspringa. Okay. I don't know. I okay. get them, I get them I know, mixed I know up, what though, you, uh, No, I know what you're saying, though. Yeah, I know what you're talking about, the coming of age thing. Yeah. yeah. No, I know, but it was it was just it was just kind of jarring seeing all the faces. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it was just uh, it was my first time, and, and it was a lot of it. Uh, there's so many of them. They smell pretty strongly. You, could, you see them coming from a mile away. You can smell them coming from a mile away. Uh, they're wearing clogs, you know, so you hear them coming. They're not a very subtle people. Yeah. <laughs> um, Crazy. No incidents. We kind of got there like right before boarding, so we just rolled right on. We sat behind a big old dog. It was like it a was, Great Dane. It was a Whoa. great time. Like having that much time to do that many edibles. We was just did a lot of edibles. Chill. Yeah, that's because it's a lot of time to be sober. If you're just sitting there, you got oh, a zombie I, no, out. There's no way. 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 Anybody, the, I don't know how the, uh, those fancy people were doing it. The Mennonites, they were stone cold sober, guaranteed. They were chilling on some god. Shit. Brutal, but they're like, oh, this is much faster than a horse, you know. So, yeah, it's like, they, they don't know. We used to walk there. Yeah, they don't know what flights are like. But <laughs> there was a dog. That was about it. That dog didn't. How did that dog go to the bathroom? The train stops. Cool. So it, it does seem very <laughs> inconvenient though, because it's just like it's yeah. not every stop that's. But I mean, suited, yeah. but you know, dogs only go like three times a day, so that's true. That was a well-behaved dog. That's fair. It was true. a very well-behaved dog. <laughs> I was concerned that it would not have been. Yeah. And I was like, "Fuck, this could be that bad seating." That could have been. Yeah. But nope, that's worked out great. Dog was great. 
Nothing really happened. Just high on edibles. We were late as fuck, though. Woke up at 7.30 in the morning. We were only in Cleveland. It's five hours away from here. It makes no sense. That was, like, devastating. But, like, I guess throughout, like, New York State, we made a bunch of crazy time, and we only ended up being, like, 45 minutes late when we actually got to Manhattan. How far behind were you? Did you two hours at two, one point? Two hours behind, and then you only ended up being forty-five minutes away. Yes, or 40, I just said that. Late. That's yep. pretty nice. That's that's exactly what just happened. Yep. <laughs> Thanks. And then we get out. Takes forever to get from the Amtrak over to the subway. I swear to God, we walked like fucking. A mile within Penn Station just it to was, get over there. It was there. pretty hectic, yeah. And just as like, I'm already here. I'm gonna say, looking for you'll your find. Ass. He's like, you'll find me. I'm down on the platform. I was like, sick. <laughs> I, I was like, bro, maybe he's on the wrong side, and we're just like, no, he's he's just not he here. Go? Yeah, he's just straight up not here. Train shows up. <laughs> I'm like, we'll see you at the hotel, bud. I'm not doing this. Uh, <laughs> you know, twenty hour ride. Just can't do it. We get to the hotel, relax a little bit. Nice spot, right in the village. Oh my god! Beautiful location. Great spot. Tiny little room, but that's just how it goes. Anyway, you know, you can't really do anything there. We should have went up on the roof, probably, but it's also probably good that we didn't. Yeah. We were on like the second floor, and there's like a little restaurant right below, and you could see right into it. We could have put our like bare naked asses on it. Uh, and ruin people's Italian dinners. That would be fucking hilarious. Dude, finally getting off of the train was nice, though. It I feel so totally good. done oh that. It feels provoked. so good to get to use your legs again. Yeah, I mean, I had already been there, so I ran into this weird music happening in the subway. It was just, like, really fun drums. So I, I, that's actually where I ended up. For oh, that's why you couldn't make the train, because you were listening to drums yeah yeah <laughs> a street mule it's called mule mule i don't think it is yeah i think it is, is that how you talk to people mules move drugs i i <laughs> that's so not the what? term no no that's the name of the artist oh his name is street mule because you just said i think it's called a street mule i was uh, like a barker <laughs> <laughs> you're way off base <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I don't see it, but mm, yeah. yeah, great. I'm sure it wasn't that great. No, it's that's fun. why he's playing it's, on the subway station. It's really fun. Anyway, <laughs> good for him. He was in goblin mode. We never ended up going to that restaurant, like on the floor, which I'm kind of bummed about. It on nice. the floor, on the first floor, or underneath. Where we oh yeah, it. that's true. We just didn't have the time. We had all of our food spots pre-planned. We were pretty booked out in advance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was tricky. It was worth it. It was worth that, dude. After we got the hotel, after we checked in, we settled I, in real quick, threw our shit down, and we said, first things first, Margaritaville," <laughs> <laughs> which is like the most the Midwestern move. thing you could do in New York. I feel yeah, like. we really set the bar real high <laughs> right away. It was lit, doing it right. It was. It, I won't take away from it. It was lit. It was lit. But I, I kept that fucking almost, blender. <laughs> that was almost, yeah. That well, was so almost. we didn't even know. I mean, I didn't even realize originally until we got there that it's like an entire resort, let alone <laughs> just like a giant tiki bar like it's they crazy. always are. And so you have to like go up this like giant escalator. Everything is like giant neon lights and it's just bright in Florida everywhere. And. The dr- oh my god! Like I knew we were gonna get drunk, but like it was just obliterated so quickly. I mean, we all got one drink and it was like pretty standard, and then we all got second ones, and the choices were just out of control. It for seems some like reason. they got stronger. <laughs> I think they got angry at us. For some Something reason. they're like, oh, they ain't buying no cheeseburger in paradise. Fuck these losers! Like here's a quadruple. Did we get any food? No. No. <laughs> we went to John's before. Yeah, we went. We went to John's after. Oh, oh I, I thought we went before. No, because weren't we? No, I don't know. We, I'm pretty. See, we got hammered, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this is exactly what I'm trying to but say. Both we, places awesome. They have, we went to John Bleaker before. I don't think so because we would have gone straight to Margaritaville. Oh no, you're right. 
I well, they, only they, think well, that because like, we realized we were hungry after getting off the train, and we're like, "Oh, bro, it. we didn't eat for like how many hours? The whole day, Damn, <laughs> just edibles. The lo- yeah. Oh, eating candy for breakfast just is candy not edibles. a good idea. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we were popping sixty milli at a time. Everybody, it was pretty intense. I got up to like Crazy. five pieces, I think, on the way there. Crazy. Uh, yeah. So we were like, "Fuck it, we got to go eat." It was also like in the neighborhood, so it just made sense. Then we went out to Margaritaville. Really took it to another level. Uh, and everybody got to see Times Square. I hate it there, but it's cool the first time. And again, all, shout out to the kebab guy. Find the kebab out there. <laughs> all the super fire. Yeah. He said, it, you honestly, want sauce? you want barbecue sauce? That was a flame grill. That was really impressive. It was decent. Yeah. They do street food right. And yeah. then all those rickshaws were playing New York State of Mind. Every single one. That was they amazing. just kept coming by us and coming by us. And I was like, I have to leave. Uh, this is awful. I want, uh, bro, I want to We got to go finish business there, man. This is my no, own personal You didn't get hell. your chopped cheese. We got, there's, yeah, there's, there's a lot of unsolved business. There's a few things that need to be changed. You missed out on the boathouse. Oh, dude, yeah, you went there for that last day. We had like our own separate. Cause there's a boathouse restaurant in the middle you, of Central you Park. You would have loved it. And the food is unbelievably good. Did you get food there? Oh, yeah. How much food did you get? Oh, bro, it was a, a seafood meal. place. I mean, what yeah. do you mean? <laughs> did you was, get like appetizer? No. Okay. It, was, it was a little pricey. Dessert? Hmm. I don't know. No. We got oh the we got God. entrees, but we're going back for apps and dessert. They were crazy, <laughs> dude. I would and an place, entree. Well, we didn't know. We didn't know. We were just like, yeah. let's just find a place to eat before we get back on this twenty. And we were no, just walking sure, around right. the park, so it's like, fuck it, let's just yeah. check it. Out. It looks crazy. I yeah, saw it when like you one of you posted it, and I looked at it immediately. I was like, this place looks fire. It's a beautiful place too. Yeah, it's, it's real nice. It's in the in the park, dude. Right in the middle. How many restaurants are in the park? I think just that one. Right. It's there might cool. be a bunch of like carts and vendors and shit. Yeah, yeah. I don't know about that. Like sit down restaurants. I think that's the only one. But I don't know. It's a massive park, so it wouldn't surprise me if the there mojito were ten. you got looked really good. It was delicious. Yeah. It was like a pineapple mojito, I believe. Mm. Excellent. Crazy. Wait, you, it's a boathouse. That's just what it's called. I mean, there was like paddle boats outside that you could rent when okay. it's nice out. There's like a lake. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like the Humble Park thing where you can go paddle boating. Mm-hmm. It's like that, but imagine if that big overlook thing was a fancy restaurant instead of just a big bridge. Delicious. Brother, salmon was crazy. I got fish and chips. Mm. But I was like, can I get fries? I want a fucking chips. <laughs> they actually served it with chips. Fuck is it? They really fucked around like that, huh? Yeah, something like that. I don't know. It had some weird thing. Anyway, we were getting out of order. What else happened? I don't even remember. <laughs> what happened day yeah, two? That day was two. The last day. day two, we went to MoMA in the morning. That was cool. Love that museum. Oh, got a bacon, egg, and cheese. Dude, those those are amazing. I fucking I wish we would have got one every day. But I feel like that's how I feel about all the food there. I feel like we could have gotten it every day. Yeah. You know what I mean? That shit's so good. Yeah. There just wasn't enough. Yeah, every every stuff <laughs> that we hit, like culinary wise was pretty calculated oh so wait we ate that. at the restaurant of it's the almost hard or moma oh b- uh b- moma. moma yeah yeah, yeah so we, awesome. we got bacon egg and cheeses and then we walked all the way to moma because we had like the exact amount of time it would take and yeah, then we the walked up to the restaurant and day. i didn't realize it was like a sit-down restaurant so they just sat us down immediately and it was like fuck i guess we're doing this <laughs> <laughs> And then we're like, wait, can we just sit outside? And they're like, uh, I guess. And we, we made them move all of our shit outside. That was a that good shit move. slapped. I don't even remember what it was. It was pistachio something, and it was delicious. Yeah, I just got the mimosa. That was fine. Yeah, but, but it was it was great. It was great for breakfast. It had that like gin cream. It was it was yeah. good. What was that? What was it called? I don't I, remember. I think what it, type it of was pastry? some kind of tart. Is that what it was? Yeah, pistachio tart. <laughs> Fantastic. Very bougie. Very bougie. And some yeah, guy I was, was just delicious. eavesdropping on everything we said, and he just kept laughing. And I was like, and hey, buddy, subscribe listening. to the podcast if you're going to be doing this. Get some friends. You know, what I'm <laughs> you know? yeah. It's true. Why are you here by yourself like me a year before? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Dude, there was a guy across the street like, grilling like whole chickens. 
Yeah. Like, yeah. Those yeah. look good, dude. dude. I, was, I was eyeballing all of those little cards. <laughs> That's the thing. If we didn't eat so, so much crazy. already, I, I just didn't have enough room. I wanted to get from those vendors I know what all you're the saying. time. Yeah, you know? no, everyone had amazing stuff. All, like, I was yeah. like, bro, I, food is everywhere. Plus, we were just smoking the whole time. So I just <laughs> steady had munchies <laughs> all the time. Snack. I don't know. I don't remember what the name of the restaurant itself was called. What are you talking one? about? The restaurant at the top of MoMA. It's just the MoMA Cafe. You don't have oh. to look that up. I don't think it's a <laughs> restaurant, technically. I think it's just yeah, it's just a part of the museum. The cafe. Yeah. It was delicious. It's not separate. I just wanted to check. I couldn't find the name of that that tart, that pistachio tart. <laughs> <laughs> what I was wonder, it called? I wonder if they just have like a changing menu. but Maybe. Oh, dude, that'd be fun. It was good. More reason to go back? Yeah. Unfinished business. Then what we do? We just went shopping, went to Supreme and all that shit. That was cool. Yeah, we just moving around. Then Comedy Cellar. That was that night. Yeah. Great time. That restaurant we went to beforehand was really Olive really well. Tree. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember what I got. That was the because <laughs> I was we were drinking there too. That was the restaurant. That was above no. That's what we cellar. were drinking at the hotel bar prior to that. Correct. That's so that right. Was, which was also an excellent. Time. Olga to the was pouring them strong. <laughs> <laughs> no, her name was Angie. I remember that. <laughs> true. True. Because somebody called her like Deborah, and she's like, "What? My name's Angie." <laughs> so then I was like, "What up, Angie?" And she's like, "How the fuck do you know my name?" <laughs> I was like, "I'm standing right there. Come on, do some math." We were a foot away. Yeah. Uh, she was pouring them strong. <laughs> We've I been here the had, whole time. I had like three of those boys. What were you getting? Manhattans, baby. Nice. Duh, what do you think? It's, where, where where were we? Come on. That's <laughs> <laughs> all they make. <laughs> Good. So then, yeah. So I don't remember what I ate at that place, I don't think. <laughs> I know we had some cheesecake at the comedy cellar. Correct. Yeah, definitely. That I think I had another little... drink there, too. I was really fucked up at the comedy. Center. Yeah, I was like, oh, "This is rough." <laughs> it was pretty awesome. I was getting a little it was spinny. A good time. Yeah, oh yeah, it was a good time. Why did I eat there? I remember it was good. Yeah, <laughs> shout out Olive Tree. Uh, whatever I had, uh, I liked it. Thanks, guys. And then uh, what happened the next day? <sighs> oh, that's when Whitney. that's when we tried to record, and it was a disaster. Oh, yeah, but there's a the Microwave video. Minutes episode coming soon. Out? <laughs> Is it out? Um, It's not out yet. Okay. It's not coming. It's coming <laughs> soon. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, it's good. I so mean, he got his video special in. I we tried to, to recap, so it and, it didn't, and it didn't go according to plan, and then we just kind of derailed for like four really, We were like ready to go, but then also we're still recovering yeah. from the night before. We were like, yeah. Oh, right, let's go. Let's. And so plus it's cool. The, it's was, cool to watch, for it sure. Was, <laughs> it was stressful because we couldn't get the other shit working. It took forever. And then we had to leave. Yeah, because we had to, to get Whitney. to the other museum. Yeah. yeah. And we walked right past it. <laughs> By well, like eight blocks. It's so unassuming, though. Yeah, we couldn't even tell it was It was right there. next to that trail you were talking about. Yeah, they have like their own little train track converted trail, which I didn't know. Thanks for stealing our idea, but that's cool. There should be more of them. Elevated parks are a smart idea. Yeah. More efficient for everybody. More elevation. Yeah. We found that uh, Pecora sign right over there. Yeah. The, the white sheep. Oh, the that's Italian that restaurant. Good. That's See, a spot we got to check I out. I have to that's eat that. That's unfinished yeah. for yeah. sure. But we couldn't because we had Peter Luger yep. reservations. Ugly, but fantastic. But I, I the food looked great, though, too. I looked it up. La Pecora Blanca. Yeah. We're going to Brooklyn was fun. Yeah. Going to the little, little Brooklyn brewery. Brooklyn was cool. Going we hit, over there, going to hit that little brew brew. I got pretty drunk there already. I had, I had only strong beers. That place was cool. It was cool. Great lighting. It did have great lighting. It was, really it was like if a garage was fun. <laughs> That's <laughs> true. <laughs> it's the only way I know how to put it. And then, then we made our way down to the legendary steakhouse. That's how we Brooklyn. And everybody was real nice, except our waiter, who didn't bring me my bacon. I ordered on my burger. No, he just completely ignored that, I guess. And then didn't come back the whole time. They didn't even I was going to say, yo, could I just get a slice? Just bring it out on a plate. Please. Nope. Doesn't come. Stared him down. Walked right past me. 
brutal. He said, fuck this guy. They didn't even have Hennessy. They didn't have Hennessy. Tragic. We thought it was a classy place. Said, very special cognac for a very special occasion. <laughs> Wrong. And uh, I, I, I can't lie, though. The food was impeccable. Yeah. Brought a bottle of sauce on the go. One of the best. But, you know. That meat was insane. Everybody said... You got to try the bacon after, after, not before. It wasn't even something I was like actively trying to do. And then the fact that I didn't get it made it that much worse. Yeah. Their, their sauce on their meats was like an unreal combo. Meat. Yeah. I remember I tried a fry in it and I was like, oh, this shit's weird as hell. And then you try it with the meat and it's like, oh, that's, that's pee and vegee, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that just works. It was awesome. I have a whole bottle of that. Got to go back there. Yeah, I know. Got to thaw out some Omaha steaks. Get some yeah. going. Just to hold us over. Get real down and dirty with it. I would go back. Yeah, I would go back and definitely. Yeah, that place is crazy. Like you said, uh, so much so much stuff to still check out. It's brutal. Yeah, you can never get it all done. We got to just do like a month Airbnb, drop four grand, and then just live a life out there. Yeah. You book it like six months in advance, so you pay it off before you get there, and then you save up the whole time as well. <laughs> yeah, getting home was even more difficult, I think. getting Oh, because oh, yeah. your flight your... also left at 4 a.m.? I ended up having to um, take an Uber from somewhere in Queens again Yeah. to get to LaGuardia did on you, time. Did you take the train to Queens? I did. did. Well, you actually okay. made it out I there. I made it out there, <laughs> but not fast enough. So you missed that bus. Um, Cuz there's yes. like one bus. Yes. Which is crazy. <laughs> and insane, so man. I pull up, I go through security. I'm a fucking mess. Of course. <laughs> you were fucking, fucking hammered. Mess. You were hammered the night before. Yeah, That's we got, right. We, we got, went we out. Got fucked up the night before. <laughs> During the Chris Rock Oscars, we missed the slap in between walking from the bar That's to the hotel, true. which is crazy timing. We were fucked up. Uh, it was just a historic y- moment. Y'all were we much more been. fucked up. Absolutely. I'm an adult. So Did I, you go you and Hope to my watch shit it together? Well, I just I was just exhausted because we yep. walked all the way back from Brooklyn just because that's just how it worked out, and so I was just beat anyway. And I was like, "We gotta leave tomorrow. I was like, I'm gonna be beat all day tomorrow. I can't like stay out till three in the morning." I was, I was, like, I no was very much just trying to New rally York like that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but we should have just left New York like that. Yeah, I was trying to watch <laughs> the Oscars anyway. Yeah, we, I Which is pretty crazy. Yeah, I remember seeing. Like a performance of the Oscars at one point, and that's it. I couldn't tell you who it was. <laughs> I just remember I was like, "That's cool." <laughs> yeah, said, said, people were kind of watching it. It was on every TV. It was on at, the, at, at yeah. the Village Tavern. Yes, the Village Tavern. Shout out. No chicken fingers. So after we yeah. walked back with you, we went back out, mm-hmm. and Ricky started throwing his wallet at the bartender. He was getting rowdy. It was gnarly. He was already starting to get rowdy. I feel like we well because it got a little more. We also were walking too. around with like a little tiny bottle of Hennessy, and we sipped that whole thing. Oh before. yeah, we were yeah well, we on were the waiting, way back. Well, from we Brooklyn. were waiting for you in Chinatown, which is a whole separate <laughs> yeah endeavor. But that place was also sick. So that got that going. Mm-hmm. It, it started early. Start the engines, baby. Yeah. Coming down the shopping district too, that place was kind of rowdy. That place was litty. Yeah, yeah it was turned up. It was over crazy. There. Yeah, we were going that that whole night. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, it, it went on for okay. a while. The, um, and then apparently Ricky started attacking the bartender, who was cool and gave us free shots right before no, we left. He too. Okay. definitely regretted that. That's what I that. remember. I remember no, doing shots. That's yeah. pretty much as far as it goes. Yeah, goes. yeah. That was well, when that's it, when I left the picture <laughs> and you guys had no chaperone effectively anymore. Really, let's I go. feel like we started yelling. That was it. Oh, we you just definitely got really started There's loud. no way we did it. Yeah, you already were doing that because we got we back left. to the room. <laughs> we got back to the room, and I just remember like basically passing out. I was like trying to go to bed. That did sure. not happen. <laughs> you were up for a while. We were up for a minute. So I was saying this is the only reliable source, and I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, you probably went right to bed when you got back, though. It yeah. was pretty close to decent. Things got yeah. It's fine. You attack a bartender. He's been attacked before. 
Like they, we just, with they're, much they're, bigger they're, threats than was, a wallet. I was going to say, they're pretty nice out there. They just ask you to leave. So Yeah. He was really nice was about it. He, he's definitely he really seen was. some crazy shit in there. Yeah, it was know. the most courteous. Fight. It wasn't. He He's wasn't, like, I was he here for Stonewall, bro. I was gonna say it wasn't you to him. You know? Yeah, so it was all so, good. Know, packed it up and went. Then that, that boathouse the next day. That's bro. sick. That might have been the best meal the whole time, and Peter Luger not was gonna, unbelievable. But not gonna lie, it yeah, like I said, that seafood was insane. It was just something about also being like super exhausted. Like yeah. I can't do this anymore. Oh, we tried that coffee place across the street. It was like okay. Yeah, mm. it was it was, it was decent. Seven grams, Something yeah. Like that. Yeah, it wasn't as good as that other place, like four blocks yeah, up that, that we went to for the sandwiches. The alternative, no, not there. What sandwiches? Well, that was the best place. We Did we get coffee. sandwiches too? No, no, no. It's the ba- that's the bagel. Oh, the that bacon, egg, and cheese. Place. That was the yeah, other was good because they had coffee there. Yeah, yeah. but he, we were talking about that. I know we talking about the ghost coffee or whatever it was called. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. That. yeah. That place was good. That place was cool. Yeah, they really they really held their shit together. They were like holding it down, making them nice drinks. Hell yeah. Dude, Would you get something I got soft? Unfinished business. You were doing just pussy boy shit the whole he time. Said, what are you talking about? You were just so he soft said, the whole what time. What do you he mean? Everything bagel with cream cheese. Yeah. <laughs> he said, I'm not getting a bacon, egg, and cheese. I didn't want a bacon, egg, and cheese. I want a bagel. It's not about that what, is you a bagel. Want, it's what you need. That's still a bagel. It's too much. In you the see? Morning. You're a pussy boy. Burn. See? That's <laughs> pussy boy shit, dude. I don't want I don't want that much. In You're the steady on pussy boy shit. It's no, unbelievable. It's I don't embarrassing. Like a big breakfast, you know. I like a big lunch, maybe dinner, <laughs> special dessert. dessert. Mm-hmm. <laughs> big dessert, but no fucking you know bunch. Of, that's a lot. That's a lot. Is there cream cheese on it too? No. Oh, I would get cream cheese on it. There's just cheese. I'm on gross. It. Yeah, I want cheese and cream cheese. The egg was excellent. The bacon was perfectly cooked. Was it was it scrambled so or was it fried egg? It was like scrambled, but like held together. Yeah, like a fold. It w- yeah, it was a fold. It was. It definitely had a shape, but it was scrambled. Yeah, that's nice. It was. Ac- it was perfect. It was so good. Yeah, it I was perfect. That. I believe that. I was Shout eight. out to Bagels on the Square. I was gonna say, <laughs> is I was that like, what it was called? Right? I don't know. Is that the I place was, we went to, or the place was, we ended up not going to? I, I was thinking when I finished it because I was just like, damn. I, I think it's Bagels on the Square. Shout out. Yeah. Eating them. That, that bagel part. was delicious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got the bagel. It's all I wanted. Then you went to the other coffee spot, and you're like, let me get a latte. <laughs> it's like, this guy's such a bitch, dude. It's crazy. Cortado. That's worse. That's more soft, I bro. like Cortados. You ain't Italian. <laughs> I don't care. It's a, shot of ca- <laughs> it's a shot of caffeine. Yeah. Give me that shit. Straight to the brain. It's enough. <laughs> I don't need anything. I've had enough from you. I had a sipper. What do you get? Just, like, drip? No, yeah. I think you I got an guy? Americano. Oh. Word. Crazy. I can sip my shit. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to do it. I want to tip it back. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm throw it. No, I want to throw it back. I used to be a red eye guy, but then it's like, uh, my chest hurts. It's coffee and a shot, right? Yeah, it's too much. Yeah. You don't need it. But is it good? Is wait, it really flavorful? Wait, they have that oh, co- it tastes so good. Yeah, that's the problem. They have that at coffee shops? <laughs> yeah. I believe that. You just ask for that. They just drop a shot into a black coffee. It's good. Oh, okay. I see what you mean. I thought, you, I thought, you, meant, I thought you meant a shot and then like a shot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and I was like, oh, like a whiskey it. in an old style, <laughs> yeah, something like that. Yeah, like, <laughs> that's what's up. That would be fun. I was like, oh, they have that at Starbucks. Yes, yeah, so I ended <laughs> up missing my flight. What? Was, Wait, oh, really? What? <laughs> yeah. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't even fucking tell us? Yeah. That's I crazy. technically missed my flight. What do you mean technically? You either did or didn't. I pulled up at s- six. I I think that's what. It, I tried to get there by four. I only I ended up getting there at, at like six five forty five. Okay. And going through security and shit. That's I ended up very pulling up at six, and they're like, <laughs> they're already taking off. I was like, oh. <laughs> 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 you said She's no like, idea. This is closed. I was like, oh. I was like, well, I gotta go home. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. So what happens? What do they do? Well, there was another one leaving for Chicago as well at the same time. Yeah, like at six fifteen, like they were loading right now. Like as I was walking up, my original flight was supposed to be to Baltimore, but this one was a direct flight. To and Chicago. they're like, you can just hop on. Yep. They had a spot. Yep. Was it first class? No. Uh, that would have been well, wild. Well, well, like you miss your flight and get upgraded. <laughs> it's, well, that's the whole thing, right? It's like nobody wants to fly at like 5 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's true. Some other guy also missed it, and it just dominoed all day. <laughs> 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 he got on the 6.30 one. 
Oh, that starts at never. Well, so that worked out much better then. I know. I was home by like ten or something. Nice. No, that's not true. It was like if you left at six fifteen, you were home way sooner than that. Eight. Yeah. Home by eight. That's sick. I was. We left at. 3.45 3.45 p.m. and got back at 11 a.m. the next day. It was late but, as fuck going back, too. But we knew, not this time we knew, and this time the bar cart was open when we got there. Oh. So we just stocked up a little bit. I made myself in, a double, yeah, that was a good and time. I was just rowdy. Uh, wait, you Ate could make a couple yourself more. a drink? Well, they had a bar cart. Oh. you just So I bought no. some shooters and some soda. But, yeah, no, you can no, also just bring crazy. on whatever booze you want. They don't know. Yeah. I was reading the rules. They were like first class can bring their own booze. But there's no but way to know. There's, yeah, and then I realized, oh, it doesn't even matter. Nobody, it doesn't matter. You just got to pour it in a cup, basically, and there's no way they can prove anything. Because you can get fucked up on the train. Yeah, we brought rosé on the way there. We drank those on the that way in. That was awesome. Because we left at night, so we just drank those and went to bed. And then, uh, yeah, on the way back, I bought like a couple whiskeys. I meant to stop at a liquor store and grab like a pint just to have with me, but it was like, fuck it. I'll just. Well, now we know. Now we know. Ten bucks. Yeah. But still, it wasn't bad. We almost got trapped in a windowless seat on the way back, though. The whole thing was full. We had to sit in the very front, and there's no windows. That would have been abysmal, dude. That was terrible. But we woke up like super early or something. Or No, no, no. It wasn't even that. It was just like four or five hours later. A bunch of people got off at like the closer New York state stops. Yeah. And so we it just opened up, and we were able to move. But that would have been brutal. Because there were people who had to take those seats after us because then the train got full. It eventually filled back and up again, <laughs> yeah. So it was it like if like we didn't move, time. then we would have been fucked. Damn. It was wild. That's crazy. They tried calling us out. They're like, please let your train advisor know if you're moving seats or some shit like that. And it's that. like, we're, we're going like, to the end of the fucking line, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, like, fu- yeah, like fuck you guys. Like, the fuck? like who's who's who wants to sit there? No oh, yeah, and there. on the way there, it was, like, super lax the whole time about, like, masks. And then once we hit, like, New York State, they're like, if you don't put your fucking mask on right fucking now, I'm going to throw you off the train. We're going to put you in jail. It's like, <laughs> whoa, where'd all this energy come from? Dude was from? going <laughs> off, yeah. He was just, like, screaming into the thing. It's like, I thought this was a service. Like, y'all are tripping, son. But also, I'm sure, like, people were probably being dicks about it. And he's like, I'm not dealing with this. There were people getting upset about everything. And the thing it was, was the Mennonites. Like, people Mennonites. were complaining about a lot of shit. It's like, uh, y'all on the train right now. Like, yeah. It's, chill. I was going to say, it's like, yeah, you're, <laughs> you're a nice thing. on a public form of transport. Like, you're you're not entitled to be comfortable. Like, you just, this is just your convenience. So. Yeah. Most of y'all are just on the no fly list. Like, <laughs> that's why you're here anyway. <laughs> Holy so. shit. We're also trying to bring things we shouldn't yeah. to other places. <laughs> Absolute chaos. There's some scary people on those trains, let me say that. But not in like a I I'm a I'm in danger way. It's just like I don't want you to talk to me. Like you're weird. Like yeah, you're you, probably you don't capable make of some shit. Yeah. You don't want to make friends on the train. Yeah, there's not a lot of intellect on there. What about in the fr- like, you know, in the windowless areas? People you definitely don't want to talk to those people. Somebody, <laughs> somebody who chose those seats, they yeah. sought them out. Trying to work for like I don't really want to see straight. anything. I'm just zen, bro. <laughs> Would you soundproof one of those? Oh, uh, but I also lot. will say the sights on the train are pretty sick. You get a lot of good stuff, especially once you hit like Albany and the rest of the way down is all like mountains and stuff. I I stuff. love I love rural America. So for me, I'm just like, uh, we could just stop here and that's fine. <laughs> yeah. The Rust Belt, you get to see the whole thing pretty much. It's dark. A lot of sad I towns. Fucking love it. <laughs> Where a lot of depression. It's great. I want to move to Pennsylvania now. <laughs> Take me to Erie. Do a lot of people get on at every stop? No. Some of the stops roll through at like fucking 4.30 in the morning. It's yeah. terrible. Yeah, yeah, some of them I doubt people might even get on at. Yeah. Or off. But who knows? It, it, there's also like the, the way the train carts are split up. It's like different destinations are in different carts. But like yeah. once you're deeper into New York State, it definitely starts to become more of like a local transit train, and people are hopping on and off it. Yeah, like Poughkeepsie and all. Yeah, that people yonkers. who only have to take like a three whatever hour. Uh, yeah, like, and like once it's like two hours or less, it starts to be a lot of people in and out. But yeah, that was the journey. Amtrak was fat. It was yeah. wild. 
we made it. We survived. We'll have to go back, but you know, after a lot more of uh, portfolio dividends, oh, I, I got to sure. invest in more crypto, and then we can get out there, really spend some coin, put some bricks, build some weight. Get That's what I'm out. saying. You know, absolutely. So uh, keep your eye out for the microwave minutes episode. It'll be out by 2023, probably. I'll keep you guys posted. It'll be your, you know, 100th episode to my show. That doesn't make any sense, but sounds good. Uh, we'll sell, I was going to we'll say, I don't think you had that. Yeah, <laughs> I, Je- I get it, though. I feel that. I feel the energy, though. I, I um, feel <laughs> gentlemen, it's been a pleasure. Rate, review, subscribe to the show. All the stuff. You know the drill. Uh, we will see you next time. But remember, I are fat. You are fat. We are fat. Calculator. <laughs>